Hi, do you have a credit card with an RFID chip in it? Well, if you've got a card and it's got this little symbol on here, you do. This, uh, in New Zealand, they call it PayWave. You wave your credit card at the counter and uh, the machine reads uh, that the radio waves coming off of the card, takes all your details and charges, charges your card for whatever you're buying. Um, great, convenient, uh, also convenient for thieves. Um, it's quite easy uh, and cheap to buy a device that will read this information um, and use it in ways which you and I would not appreciate. Uh, this this uh, video which, uh, that I'm going to show you now is uh, is trending on YouTube. It was shown uh, in in America recently and uh, is getting people uh, people worried. Uh, we have a solution um, in in our block it pocket uh, range, which will show, if you haven't seen before, I'll show you at the end. These are designed primarily to um, protect you from the radiation from your your phone, but they do a very good job at protecting your card information from uh, on unwarranted use. So uh, watch, and I'll just put a little bit at the end. Uh, about the products. There are questions tonight surrounding millions of debit and credit cards like this one. 13 Investigates has discovered a tiny device inside these cards that may be putting you at risk for fraud. Investigative reporter Bob Siegel shows you how to tell if your credit card is one of those affected and the simple steps you can take to protect yourself. Whether you're buying groceries or gas or dinner to go, Nowadays, you can just wave your card and you're on your way. It's the latest technology in millions of credit and debit cards, thanks to a tiny chip hidden inside. It's called RFID, Radio Frequency Identification. This little device sends out a radio signal with your credit card information. It's designed to be a faster way to pay at stores all over town. But if you have one of these cards... Oh my God. There's something else you should know. That's just really scary. That's crazy. Definitely odd that that can happen. Your credit card might not be as safe as you think it is. With what I have here, I can get your credit card number, your expiration date, and everything I need to make a cloned card. Walt Augustinowitz is a credit card protection specialist. He bought this credit card reader off the internet for less than a hundred bucks and he's about to use it at the Indianapolis airport. Oh. This is your credit card number right here. Oh my gosh. Oh. 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 Is it? <laughs> wow, yes, it is. Wow. That's scary. With permission, Walt is scanning for credit card numbers. And there's your MasterCard. That's pretty crazy. He's intercepting the credit card information right off the radio chip inside. You have uh, Amex in there? Yes. Yeah, expiration date 0314. Oh I just ran gosh. through there. Oh, now, wow. rather than actually taking um, your your credit card out of your, or your wallet out of your pocket and stealing it, that is my number. That's your reason number right there. We're scanning the information we need off it without touching you. It's electronic pickpocketing, and Roberta Gonzalez just found out she's at risk. Did you recognize that number on there? Oh, that's Sorry. my card. Yeah, that was my card. Walt got information from three of Roberta's credit cards because all of them have RFID. I heard about this, but I didn't think my cards were accessible to it. I thought for sure, surely this is not possible. It is possible, even if most consumers don't realize it. Do you know if you've got a credit card that's got radio frequency technology in it? Uh, no, I don't. Here's what to look for. A symbol similar to this one on your credit card or debit card, it's a sure sign it has radio frequency identification. If your card says pay pass, pay wave, or blink, it also has RFID. The nation's largest credit card companies all say radio frequency technology is very secure. Visa, MasterCard, and American Express sent statements to Eyewitness News. And all of them cite sophisticated fraud prevention, advanced capabilities, or powerful security to prevent misuse. And they say special safeguards mean even if crooks do intercept your credit card information, well, they can't do anything with it. But Walt disagrees. They're wrong. There it goes. Take a look at this. 
With permission from a credit card holder, Walt is taking information lifted from a radio frequency credit card and copying it onto his hotel room key. And watch what happens next. He takes the room key to a restaurant and he uses it as a credit card. Did I just see what I thought I saw? Yes. Yeah, we took what we scanned off from that card, put it on my hotel room key, and just walked over to that store, swiped it through, made a purchase. Nobody asked any, nobody even asked any question why it was a room key. We've done it at big box retailers for several hundred dollars without a problem. How easy is it? Too easy, way too easy. With every new technology comes additional risk. Joan Antical is a security and privacy expert. She says it's not just credit cards that have radio frequency technology, but also passports and IDs used by many schools, private companies, and the government. Is this a real risk? Is this something we need to really worry about? I think it's a very big risk, actually. Over a billion cards have been issued with RFID chips in unencrypted form. Uh, and all of those cards are very vulnerable to attack. And there's your uh, PNC yes. Visa. So what can you do to protect your credit cards? Walt has started a company that sells protective sleeves and wallets. But he says you don't need something fancy. Anything metal, even a piece of aluminum foil wrapped around your credit card, that'll block the radio signal and keep it safe from hackers. You can also tell your bank you don't want a credit card that has RFID. That's just insane that, that, that that's happening, that credit card companies are allowing that to happen. This is real. You can't say, no, it can't be done, when someone turns around and does it right in front of your eyes. And that's what we did. Um, we did exactly what they said we can't do. This is a problem. If you don't have a credit card with a radio chip in it, chances are you will soon. Right now, RF identification is in about a third of all credit cards, and that number is growing quickly. Want more information? Check out our website.